Hello there, it's me again, Miss Lola. Welcome to this lesson. We will continue our fun-filled adventure in the amazing world of mathematics. I hope you are ready because I am. Here we go. You might wonder why we need to tell time. Time can help tell us when different activities will take place. That is correct. When we know the time, we can plan better and know when an event will take place. Remember our wall clock? When the hour hand goes around the clock two times, this means 24 hours have passed. There are 24 hours in a day. So when 24 hours have passed, we say a day has passed. Here is a fun fact. There are seven days in a week. Interesting, isn't it? Each day in a week has a name. Do you know the days in a week? Let me tell you, starting from the first day of the week to the seventh day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The first day of the week is Sunday. Monday is the second day of the week. Tuesday is the third day of the week. Wednesday is the fourth day of the week. Thursday is the fifth day of the week. Friday is the sixth day of the week. And Saturday is the seventh day of the week. By knowing the days of the week, we can tell which day we are to perform different tasks. For example, we go to school from Monday to Friday. Let us play a game. What is the name of the third day of the week? Tuesday is the third day of the week. Very correct. Which day comes before Friday? The answer is Thursday. Since Thursday is the fifth day of the week and Friday is the sixth day of the week, therefore, Thursday comes before Friday. You are right. Did you know there are 30 days in a month? Each month has a name. Let us list the months from the first to the last month in order. January, February, March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, and December. There are 12 months altogether, and these 12 months make up a year. January is the first month of the year, and December is the last month of the year. We can know the month we were born by knowing the name of the month. Can you tell me what month you were born in? The months also tell us when important celebrations take place. We celebrate New Year in January. This was fun, was it not? Now, let us go back to the beginning and see if we remember what we have learned. 1. There are 24 hours in a day. 2. Each day makes up a week. There are 7 days in a week. 3. There are 30 days in a month. 4. The 12 months make up a year. Great! Before we finish up here, let me ask you a few questions. This will help me know how well you got on in the lesson. Are you ready? Alright! One. Someone said, Monday is the first day of the week. Is this correct? Exactly. Monday is not the first day of the week. It's Sunday. 2. How many days of the week are there? You're absolutely correct. There are 7 days of the week, namely, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 3. How many months make a year? You're correct. 12 months make a year. I hope you learned a few things today because I did. Till we meet next time. Bye.